welcome back to my channel in this video I'm gonna show you how to do this doily that I showed in a previous video and uh, this one was cut with Cricut as I'm gonna show you how to do it with Cricut and then I'm gonna show you how to do these that have not been cut with a Cricut machine and they are very pretty too and they don't need a big investment so if you're ready we'll go ahead and start it well here we go let's start with the Cricut one and then later I'll show you the other stuff so this is Cricut design space and these are the doilies that I prepared to cut including this one that I showed in the previous video so let me show you how this one started because it did not start it that way so from here you can go to images and uh, here are all kinds of stuff you either buy or already have or you can look through stuff but um, I'm gonna go to filter and go to my stuff that I already own and this is the doily that um, I showed you guys so let's see here it is there's different ones and uh, you will see they have they have different um, layers to them but you can take away the layers and you will have something really cool looking like this so it starts out like this and uh, you can make it bigger or smaller let me make it bigger so original looks like this but if you can see on this side right here there there's eyes and you can click on the eyes and take away the layers so there you go not too bad and then we'll take away one more it's closer and um, I'll take away one more and here we go here is the very nice doily it doesn't have to be a doily anything but I really like it so I'm gonna show you how to do this one how to cut this one well, I'm gonna cancel this one out because we don't need it and I'm gonna show you this one because it's already pre-measured and let me change my camera so you can see the Cricut machine so now I will take a mat and a just piece of cardstock any glitter or not your choice I'm gonna take the this purple one place it on here there are three different mats actually four now the fabric one came out so strong regular and light grip this is a light grip it should work pretty okay so now I'm gonna click make it on my computer I just clicked to card stuff and um, I just load it in and that's it machine will be cutting it by itself
that's it. Let me move the thing away. Okay. To take it out. Let's see. It. Maybe we can do this one first. It's gonna be. not easy i mean it's easy but i i like to do it really careful because i don't want to rip it right now i'm just taking the excess out and i'm leaving the doily is in the, the doily in so then i'm gonna take it out with um with Bend, bend it next because see when I pull it the paper it rolls and I do not want that on my doily so okay the excess is out now there's some more excess stuff is gonna start coming out. Other stuff. Let's see. Whatever comes out first, that I just work with it. I have a spatula, but it's kind of um, quite uh, uncomfortable to hold it with two arms and somehow use the spatula. But um, as you can see, it starts to uh, get up by itself when you roll the mat. But don't roll it too hard because you will fold it in half and create a like a crack, and then it will be not super good for the future cuts. Because this is so intricate, yes, I take my time. If it was a little bit less intricate, I probably would, um, and it would be easier to pick it up, and I would probably do it a little bit faster, but with these dots. These are the accesses and I'll grab my scraper and I'll scrape it a little bit later but for right now <coughs> that's it here is the same <coughs> doily that I made right here exactly the same and didn't take that much time so and I've pre-cut different kinds of one if you need for a different occasions like this spider web or if you have square um, oh my gosh if you have square plates or anything you can put it on the canvas and then put a picture inside I mean on top but inside and it's really nice there's all kinds of ones that you can do like this star one can be for fourth of july or you know anything um this is just a few that i made like this one any occasion any party you have you can make different ones anytime I love it but what do you say if you don't have a Cricut machine I have a answer for you okay here we go this is the machine that doesn't cost much but that's what you would need 
to do your doilies uh, for the fraction of the cost of prayer kit. And it's on the go, not expensive, different designs, and very easy to use. Okay, it came in this box, the machine itself, which is just, you know, really small, but good. And with this flower die. And then these two I purchased it separately. So, how when you get it, you're gonna have to put it together like this. That's all. And this is just, uh, these are the magnets and these are the little silicone ones, little dots. These will hold your paper from moving. And all you do is just match up the magnets. That's all you need. And there is four magnets for the dies. And uh, it will always find itself. You don't even have to look. So, and this is two. So, here are the measurements for the doily you want. So whatever you choose, like 11, 12 inches, and uh, you don't have to cut the paper it will cut within with this die it will cut the paper to the size you cho chose so let's pick size 8 and over here there's different um, I don't know how to say it. these are the uh, turns that this will do for the doily and if you put size 8 like we did here you click on 8. If you wanted to do size 10 doily, you would click on size 10. Because if you don't, the, the design will not match up. So, what you have to do is take it out. Take your dead die out. Pull the trigger and just put it in. Everything you will get in this box and instructions. And it's pretty easy to do. So, let me grab a piece of paper. Okay. And let me actually change to 10. And we have a 10 here. So, I like to, because we have bigger paper, we can do 10. And uh, maybe we can do 11. Let's see. So, I like to place my, my paper so it covers the die. Because if you can see the die, like more. Uh, Okay, if you can see the die, if it's gonna show up like this, you can see the die, that means it will not be cutting it, so. So here it found itself. And then I run the paper through just like this. These are the turns you, you will do. The, if you don't see the, the die, that means you're gonna have the size of the doily that you want. And that's it. What else do you have to do? Grab a die and you see these four dots. These are the magnets and these are the four magnets and see how it finds itself. So that's all you need to do. The paper doesn't move. You find the die and press. Lift it and move. Just one turn. One. And again. It, it presses pretty okay. So, and let's turn. And again, I don't even look where I stamp and where I put because it finds itself.
and as you starting to see it cuts away the access that you don't need and it cuts the, the doily but in case you accidentally picked it up in October and like oh no what am I supposed to do don't worry you can always match the holes over here like this I'm gonna match it make sure magnets too I put the magnets correctly too you can always match the holes in here and that's it look it's gonna match perfectly nothing wrong no disruptions and we keep going That's it. You don't have to cut the paper. And this is the doily we got. Perfect if you put a plate on top of it. This is a 12 inch. This is a 12 inch on Cricut. And this is an 11 inch on this. Pretty nice. Really nice, actually. I like it. Thing. So. Let's try a different one. Uh, this one, I like it. And I got a smaller paper. Let's say you got 11 by 8. So let's do an 8. Now we switch to the 8. And that's it. Let's put the die in. Good. And then I'm gonna place this and run it through that I don't see it good and that's it let's make sure we find it correctly and let's go one lines up perfectly no more cutting paper and here is the nice doily that we just got you can make same designs or different designs layering them up and I wouldn't say this is any less of a different doilies from Cricut yes those can be a little bit more intricate but these are really nice okay let me empty this out okay let's let me show you the other one how oh, that one turns out and there's different dies out there that uh, you're gonna like I've seen a lot so alrighty let's pick another paper okay here we go I like this orange and let's make the smallest one we have like six and uh, make sure I will line up my magnets and of course I'll just run it through because I'm used to it already and that's it all we do is line up and let's go.
And here we go. The tiniest one. This is perfect. Under the cup, on the small plate, under the cupcake, I mean, under anything. So, um, this is the smallest size, and this this is not the biggest. We did 11 on here, so we can do one more inch, like 12 inch. So, almost the biggest. There's medium, there's the smallest one. So, these ones I really like. Of course, you can try cutting it by hand with scissors, but that's gonna be quite long, I think. I probably wouldn't even try it. That's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, please write below. I would love to answer them if I can. Well, that's it. I hope you liked the video and give it a try. If you have any questions, please write them down below this video and I will be more than happy to answer them. And if you like this video, please click the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe share across the social media and your friends and i will see you in the next video